how to build bridge connection with Gasplay. Um, we need a Gasplay element to build any bridge with Gasplay. There are three types of Gasplay used in this item. This one is the corner one. So we have like we have a column and for example we have a column and a beam and the brace is at the corner. So we have two content plan. This is we call it corner brace or corner gasset. And this is to the middle. They only have one member one main member and the uh, gasset is contact to it and brace is coming from one side only and uh, we have another type is cross brace so if we have a gasset play pass through the member if this is a tube member then we have a brace at both sides of the member main member and we call it cross brace so we need to use a right type to let the program know which type to use and uh, how to do the calculation or layout. Today we want to show how to make a bridge connection for one side only or the, the middle one. So first we go to the connection builder and we call it middle asset. So we have three parts. So one beam and two brace and minimum is two. So we could have one brace or two brace case. Then we add first we need add a gas play. We have connecting part. We have three parts. One is the beam and uh, the other two is brace. And uh, we let, need to let the program know which is brace. So this two is brace. And uh, the gas plan. Um, by default, it will take the center of the brace as plan as a gas plan, but we can override. And for this case, we can leave for now. See if it works. And contact plan by default, it will use the local coordinate system, and it's mean one and mean two, a mean zero and mean one, and uh, get the contact plan as the, the first contact plan and uh, because it's middle one so the second contact plan 2 is not valid and um, bow if we need the gas to be square then we need this bow we can leave later then we have uh, a quite a lot different type of gasset setting over here. So you can see this is for the square one. If you click the picture, they will switch to different side, different type of the connection. So find out the one you need and see the definition of the, of the member of the variable and how to use it. Then go to the data. So the play thickness half inch, and uh, place position is center. We leave it, and uh, corner brace by default. So we need change to middle gasset. Then we can leave this later. But we need give a setting for the brace. So air is welding length, we can give 6 inches and the E is the edge of the layout, it's half inch, gap is half inch for now. And the brace 2, we can do the same setting or we can say 
they were same as the previous one. So this two is using the same setting. Then we need to add. Uh, so uh, for the cassette item, they will do the layout to the by the uh, gaps and uh, the wetlands to lay out the edge point. Then they will put a fit by default, put a fit to the brace, so the brace will be fitted. Then we need uh, a wrapping bow and a slot for the brace because it's tube. So we can add a bow. Let's say Bow one for the part one. We need the main member and the brace and also the gas play. Bow part is brace one and the gas play. And the ordering of the bow. We can have, let's say, First, we will put down the center. So, the brace we use the middle plane and the center plane, and the other plane we we have two options. One is the gasset edge plane. It's along the it's along the edge of here. See the line here. This is the edge gasset edge plane. And uh, another one is fitting plan. It's over here. It's end of the brace. So you can have two options. This takeoff plan and edge plan. So we're, right now we're using edge, cassette edge plan. And uh, you can check it any time. That's if you're not sure. Let's see, you can check by click. Oh no, sorry. This one you can't do the check right now because this only works on when the cassette connection is running. Otherwise they will the value is empty. So you can't do the check right now. But it was the value. Um let's see probably It will give a value. Oh, it's over here. So uh, it is fine. Click OK. So we have the origin here. Then we give a direct X along the along the brace. So it's part um, X, but on the opposite direction. So give a minus on the top. On the front, then the Y is um, it's a little tricky here. So we can give a vector vector Y or Z, but we don't know how the brace was modeled. If they are modeled properly, so we should take the Z over here. But if they are equal or it is square. It could be modeled the other way. So, to make sure it was the right direction, we're using a different way. So we're using the vx times the gas play position. Gas play that so then the vector by vector is the the value of the uh, the direction of the ve vector will be uh, perpendicular to both of them so let's check see they were along this side so by this way, we can make sure the bow is always at the plane of the cassette. 
then we give uh, value default value for the bow position x let's give 2 it's a 0 ok so the bow went and uh, we want this bow to be a master let's say brace bow, bow brace and we need another bow for the other brace bow let's say bow 2 and the beam and the, the second brace and also the, the cassette then um, we can load the value for the first setting so we only change the brace 1 to brace 2 and the rest of the setting is exactly the same then we need to change this one to the slave so we can almost copy the value except the brace is different click OK to save then we need two slot to slot to slot the brace in so we need add a slot slot cut um, gave two part and the uh, gusset part to be cut it's brace one and the cutting part is gusset, gusset play um, it's always on and uh, we want it to be master slot brace and the uh, gap is 116 and the uh, half inch on end half inch on end radius give quarter type give square this one is ok then we gave another cut slot cut cut one I gave cut two then brace two and uh, we need to change this one to slave so we need to add a wear to wear the gusset to the beam wear then main member is the beam and the wear member is gusset add to list then we give a quarter inch filler wear by default and uh, set the member default <coughs> click OK so the connection is done then we need to save set the page for the dialog middle gusset first page is gusset move then bow then slot and uh, where see the gusset set then bow second page and uh, slot P 
page two and the where page three try okay we can use the brace now delete this one and from here main part brace brace no sorry we need select the connection first middle break gasset okay then select middle button see the bow is not correct we need say bow x is three uh, let's see x is three type number quantity is two the y is one and zero um so we have the first bow is one half then three and also the bow cut length is give to a little large number eight yeah it looks okay now go to 3d So you can see the slot there, the bow, the bow is there, this one looks like when is slot, when is this bow is a little short. Um, Basically, it, it works. Then we can adjust the. Let's say we can adjust the layout. See the. Let's look at the. The gasset layout and gasset option. Let's see. We can have. Uh, we can check if we change the wear length. The gasset will be increased. It's obvious, and uh, if we change the gap, so they will increase the gap over here, be one inch. Then we can change to uh, get it to a square. Go to the detail and size when we say. Uh, square so I said become the square, uh, square but they also locate uh, by the layout so they just square the corner and also you can square by your bow but by doing this we need to give the bow ID to the gasset let's try this go to there Go to the connection builder, middle gasset, and brace. So we have the uh, bow. So part two and part three is a bow. Then we can say. Uh, square by the bow so we need to give uh, H1 and H2 for the bow edge distance then we first say square by bow H1 and H2 give one and a half inch and uh, this one is also square by bow one and a half inch see they will fit to the bow 
and also you have multiple option say this for the other side when for the cross bracing and you can shift the, the brace let's change to regular one by default and we can make the brace a little longer let's say 12 then we can shift the will give a 30 degree and this one is also give a 30 degree and we have to sh say shift the gasset yes so it will shift and keep the angle at 40, uh, 30 degree and if you want the two side be controlled by by default it will project to the contact plane and you can control it by multiple way you can give a dimension just by a dimension we can say uh, a number let's try and see how much is it. so right now two foot we can give a 20 And if we give 10, see what's the difference. Because right now it's measured from the contact edge, so from the center of the beam abrace to the contact plane and measure from here. And we can say we have option to measure from uh, end point or work point. So right now it's measured from work point and the dimension is 10 so it's too small let's say 20 and also you can control by angle so 30 degree by, oh sorry by angle 30 degree is over here So you can play with the number and uh, you can change the setting. Also you can have a prep at the brace. Let's say give a 45 degree. So they have a prep here. And uh, if you have a corner one, you can have two sides could be prepped. And also you can have any point of the brace to be chamfered and uh, if they are corner brace they have multiple option to change the shape of the corner that's usually it's helpful for the wrap over connection horizontal brace and uh, also if they have a multiple point you can eliminate the, any of the point by giving a number it's eliminate corner point so this is a very powerful I them so you can use them and in fit for most of the bridge connection thank you